what's good y'all it's your girl lex do real and we are back up in this thing with another video and today we're going to be talking about Nicki minaj and bet now if you do not know bet put out a tweet last night because you know cardi b won a grammy and so they have retweeted a tweet that said cardi b is the first solo female rapper to win a best rap album so bet retweeted and they said meanwhile Nicki minaj is being dragged by her lace front her lace front Really? BT, really? Now, I just found that ironic and very unprofessional of them. Like, come on, BT, you stand for black entertainment, but yet you're dragging a black person, a black woman, a black queen. Like, you, you really you really about that life? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing, BT? The Shade Room had reposted what Nicki Minaj had said. You know, she dropped out of the doing the BET experience because she was headlining the BET experience. And so, after they did that tweet, Nicki Minaj was like, okay, you want to act like that? You want to disrespect me like that? Then fuck it. I'm not going to do your BET experience. Your money is done. Your, your money's not going to be there. That's rude. That's disrespectful. I'm professional. And we're not doing it. In my opinion, I feel like BET went too far. BET was very unprofessional. Like, how dare you? That's why your damn channel is trash right now. That's why people, whenever I ask them, do they watch BET? They're like, damn, that shit's still on. What employee had the damn account? What employee had the account, the Instagram account, the Twitter account to do this? I feel like BET was being very childish. They should have had somebody check them tweets before they sent it out. And now they look like assholes. And I don't know how they're going to get themselves out of this. Because that was just disrespectful and unprofessional. And they about to get it. Point blank period. So tell me what y'all think in the comments. Like, subscribe. Your girl Lex to Reels up out this thing.